Hello, this is Skill and Kelso from the Grim Reapers, and we're here today to present a hardware review on the new Winwing Orion Stick Base version J2-2. Let's get started. Reading from their website, Facebook, and the review videos, the J2-2's major design focused on a single base capable of swapping internal components for use in different airframes. A classic cam spring design, symmetric in four directions, and able to attach dual cam, dual springs for more force. Four sets of cams, four sets of springs for maximum customization. A damping only, this appears to be one of a kind, as springs and roller cams are replaced by a friction damping device for non-centering control. This mode mimics the control feel of helicopters. And last, a force sensing module, which is not quite ready yet. The documentation says the replaceable movable force sensing module has actual physical movement to mimic the F-16 stick, which is reported to move approximately five millimeters. All of the above were designed as a quick swap process. Changing the core with four screws will allow you to swap between the force sensor, the cam spring system, and the dampening only modes. The swap process should take owners two to three minutes. The J2-2 comes with a full metal core, cams, and ball bearings. Classic pre-drilled holes for existing desk mounts use the same hole pattern as Thrustmaster's measurements. A conforming outer shipping box contains the shipping stickers. The inner box will be checked with what you've ordered. Though not marked, we received the additional cam spring and damper kits. We've been told the internal force sensing kits will be shipped at a later date. As always, Winwing used cut foam inserts to protect the contents. Because we've been doing the reviews for a while, we have the Orion 1 and Libra stick bases. We thought people might want to see the relative size comparisons between them. Winwing says most people will be able to swap the internal cams, springs, dampers, and force sensing units within two to three minutes. It will definitely take you longer the first time, but with practice and power tools, that should be attainable. Skill does a great job on the assembly videos. Sometimes he sends me adult hand signals. He describes them as motivational. One Wing defines the Orion 2 stick base as redefining a multi-purpose modular designed base. During our testing, their definition appears spot on. The optional cam, spring, and damper kit provides the ability to mix and match different configurations on four cam pairs using all four sides of the control, not just limited to two sides.
And after swapping back to the default cams and springs, here are definitions of the parts. As of today, the Orion 2 joystick base is $215.95. The Orion 2 MF SSB kit is $269.95, uh, not quite ready yet. The Orion 2 joystick cam spring damping extension kit is available for $49.95. It's available. And the joystick extension rod is available for $49.95. If you look up, uh, there are tips to reduce those costs if you buy it as a bundle. Okay, skill, um, great job flying. I appreciate all the hard work. Let's talk about uh, pros and cons. Let's start with the cons. What did you think? Do you have any issues? Uh, a couple minor. Cons, I suppose you could say, more personal preference things than faults or problems with the device itself, but we can go through those. Okay, what was the first one? The first one, uh, and the first time I set up the, 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 the base and the stick and plugged it in and went into DCS was the default dead zone on the base was felt massive. 
Uh, maybe because I was using extension, it felt bigger, but it just felt exaggerated. A lot of movement in the center area without anything happening in the game. And I agree with that. Um, it was weird. Uh, the smoothness of the stick was wonderful because I was using the extension as well. Uh, but that uh, dead zone uh, made it extremely uncomfortable. What was the second one? Uh, the second one actually wasn't something that was obvious to start with. It was the, the rubber rubberized gator or shroud at the base of the stick onto the base. Looks nice, but I, I only noticed the problem when I changed over to the dampers to use with the helicopters. Because of the sort of springiness of the rubber, it kept pulling it to the centre, which meant I had to tighten the friction resistance on the dampers. To such an extent, I lost some of the smoothness. It felt a little bit sticky for me, moving the stick around, especially with the more precise handling of the helicopter at uh, hovers and what have you, if that makes sense. It makes sense. I didn't feel that was a big issue. In fact, I didn't think about it until you just mentioned it. So again, I guess everyone's going to have different uh, perceptions of that. Uh, let's go back to the default dead zone. Pull up Simap Pro, and we'll add that to the video right now on how to change that dead zone to zero. Yep, exactly. Uh, once you're in Simap Pro, uh, you get your list of devices. So you find your Orion base with whatever stick you're using on it. You click on that. It'll take you into the calibration sort of test page. Uh, on the right-hand side of that screen, you'll see the base itself, and under the sort of graphic for the center of the base, you'll see a button for dead zone setting. Click onto that and you'll see a couple of check boxes, X device default and Y device default. If you uncheck those you'll get a slider for each one and then you can manually adjust the dead zone size from uh, 0 to 25 percent. I personally have it set to 0 so there's no dead zone at all which uh, I find works well but everybody's got that as we've said this before. Everybody's got their own personal preference what they like. I just felt that the default one was far too big. Yeah, I did the same thing. I, I went, uh, just slid it back and forth in both uh, X and Ys, and it was like night and day. This thing is just amazing. And yeah, the channel gets sponsored, but there's no denying it. <laughs> the engineering of this is, is wonderful, being able to effectively do three sticks in one. And when the force sensing unit becomes available, we'll do an additional video. All right, Skill, thank you very much for all your hard work. Folks, I think you're going to enjoy it if you choose this. I encourage you to watch other reviewers. And uh, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you uh, soon when we get the uh, Force Sensing unit. Take care, Skill. Yep. Cheers. See you later.